Hey, it's Josh here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up WordPress on your SiteGround hosting account. This is part two of a three-part video mini series that I have for you on getting started with SiteGround hosting. In the first video, I showed you how to set up your account. In this one, we're gonna install WordPress. Make sure you catch the next one as well because I'm gonna give you a, a walkthrough of the site tools in the back end of SiteGround. And just a quick reminder before we dive into this one, if you haven't yet signed up for SiteGround, make sure to go to joshhall.co slash SiteGround for an exclusive deal. You'll see a screen that looks something like this that is personally recommended by me. So make sure you go there. Now, let's set up WordPress. WordPress. All right, so once you have your hosting account set up on SiteGround, you have a, a quite a few different options for actually setting up your website. In the case that you just saw in the first video, I registered my domain with SiteGround, so pretty easy. I'm not transferring a site or appointing a domain from a different host. So I'm going to install WordPress here. But in case you do have a website elsewhere, there's a variety of different options for you. Let's say you have your domain registered at GoDaddy, for example, but you want to use SiteGround hosting, you can actually keep your domain over at GoDaddy. You'll just want to point the domain over here to SiteGround. And just an FYI, I do have a course on cPanel, which explains this in more detail. But what you could do is you can point your entire DNS, your name servers, over to SiteGround. But that's going to point everything over to SiteGround. If you just want to point the website itself and you don't want to mess with any email settings or anything else, you'll change the A record and they'll give you details how to do that here. Uh, but you can also set up a temporary URL. You can transfer an entire domain. So if you do want to transfer from GoDaddy or Bluehost or somewhere else, you can do that here. And then there's going to be some other options here for you as well. But again, for right now, we're keeping it simple, keeping it easy. We're doing a brand new site, new domain name. So we're going to install WordPress right here. And this will actually take you to a guide that gives you some options with a few different ways to set up WordPress with some different tools in there. So you're welcome to review that. In this case, I'm just gonna keep it simple. We're gonna to go to websites, and then I'm gonna find my site here, which is actually still pending. I need to verify that in my email. We're going to complete this, and you'll see all we need to do is set up our website. So um, you can either start a new website right here, you can migrate a website, or we can skip and create an empty site. And in this case, let's just bounce over here to start a new website. And then just like the tutorial guide that we just saw, there's a few different options for us here. We're just going to do a standard WordPress site and then going to add a login and a password. Continue. Not going to worry about any of these. Like I already mentioned in the first video, if you're not using Manage WP or something to scan your website, I would recommend you do. Otherwise you could add this. And since this is just a test site, I'm not going to worry about the domain privacy for now. Let's finish. And then our site will be set up in a minute. And we are set up. That actually took just less than a minute to set up. And again, if you have your domain elsewhere, these are going to be the what's called name servers, which is where you'll point your domain over here to SiteGround. But in this case, since I've already registered my domain here at SiteGround, we can just man click Manage Site. And then we are all set up. In the next video, I'll walk you through this back end to give you a good feel for all these options. And then you will be ready to rock and roll with starting to build awesome WordPress websites on SiteGround hosting.